Well, this is our last night in Tenerife, so we've got to come down Veronica's. See how it compares to Coast Sand Road. And this way it came compared to where we're going. That's us finally made it to Coast Sand Road after all our um, troubles in the airport. Aye, so we'll get to the. Um, flies from Tenerife to Milan, gets to Milan airport and then goes onto the board and it's like flight cancelled. We're like, oh great. So goes to like the information goes to try and find um, Air India, by the way, watch these guys if you ever fly with them, you get this experience apparently. I've read up on it. Um, so goes tries to find the desk, nobody about, so goes to the information desk, they phones about, says, oh the flight's been cancelled a month, you know. I'm like, what? I says, we haven't even had an email, you know, because we had the flight booked about six weeks ago. We've had emails to try and upgrade the seats on the flight that they've cancelled, but that's another story. So we get past a little bit around the airport, we end up at the information desk, the second one. Um, guy takes out details, give him the, the stuff, and he says, oh, you're not the first ones to turn up um, for this flight. I said, oh, champion, it's not just us then. So anyway, so the guy says, oh, you're just going to India. I'm like, no, no, we've got a connecting flight to Bangkok, obviously, you know. So he says, all right, he says, uh, I can get you on to Vienna. And in about 35 minutes, the plane's leaving, then we'll get you Vienna to Bangkok. And it ended up landing about two hours before we got uh, got here for the first flight. Here we booked a hotel, uh, right in the centre, um, rooftop pool. I'll show you the view down here from the, the terrace. This is actual Corsan Road, right in the centre. Just setting up the market right now. The hotel's got a sick rooftop pool as well. You can swim up to it, swim up to a wee bar in it to, to swim up bar. And it's got a wee hot tub just here. It's got a little bar that sells snacks as well. It's a lovely little temple. Attention to details, unbelievable. Have you seen the Thailand roof line? It's like a parkour's dream. Here's a quick scan of our room. Yeah, walk in, shower, there's toilet. We've got a fridge, got a mess over there. Got the bed, proper oriental style on the floor. And then well, here, here's our little balcony, right in the middle of it all. There's the rooftop pool just up there as well. This is the hotel reception, it's really nice, proper air conditioned. And you go down these little mad escalators. If you want a suit, there's Boss Man. You're right in the centre of Core Sand Road here as well. Devil's Lettuce Shop. And if you see along there, see that creepy clown? There's a 24 hour McDonald's there as well. This is uh, just outside the hotel. It's literally in the centre of Corsan Road. Hey, come on. Yeah. Thank you. England, yeah? Now, where yeah. you go? There yeah, we go for walking home. Oh, you did it. Holy shit, we need to go to Tuk Tuk to bloody some temple and somewhere else there. So we're going to meet him tomorrow. But we're not going to be here tomorrow, so... Two o'clock for sure. Two o'clock for sure. Hello, <laughs> That's everybody just pretty much setting up just now, getting all their food and that ready. And I've just seen some pretty cool lanterns over here. I'll go and show you what they're like. Okay. Uh, there's some pretty cool wee lanterns in a shop that I just caught my eye. Just going to take you a wee walk along some wee stalls. Show you what they've got on offer. I'm sure Marcel's ordering some food, so we'll see how that goes. Here we go. Thank you. Thank 
face. Meat face. Put some oil on the grill and that and then cook some fresh for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me see this. What you got? Bag of protein. Mm. It's all there, pork and chicken. Imagine if you put everything in a plastic bag. Oh. Taste test. Tastes nice. Like gelatinous bits in it, but it is nice. I like it all. Have you got any idea what it is? Pork, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your famous uh, Thailand elephant pants. Keep joking with Marsh that I'm going to get a pair. Right. I think that's pork. Oh, that's right. It's like honey glaze on it. Already nearly been knocked over a few times. Right, these are my bowls. I'm gonna try my bowls. Don't smell like them. Mm. Like a bit chorizo, like a spicy sausage. Quite nice. Go and bite my bowls a bit. <laughs> Again, I've got no idea what it is, but it's so tasty. We're on a mission now to find coconut. We're just getting some SIM cards this week, guys, sorting us out a good deal. Just getting a sick deal on two SIM cards, um, 1100 baht, which is just under 30 euros, I think, um, and that's unlimited internet, unlimited calls, um, 5G. I didn't really want 5G, but that's all I had. Some cool artwork. Well, some old cell of the devil's letters. Food to Thailand, come on. Oh, I think I found me coconut. Coconut man. Check out my coconuts. <laughs> this is what I come to Thailand for. Fresh coconut water every single day of my life. If there was ever a horse pipe that was like the British government. <laughs> We've even got a McDonald's down Corsan Road, 24 hours. And we're just ordering a orange smoothie and a banana smoothie. Um, total cost of 100 baht, which is about 2 euro 70, 250 English. What have we got? A banana smoothie and an orange smoothie. Can we try them? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Unreal. I've just watched the alligator guy getting ready to set up his stall, but he's just taking the alligator out of a black bag. Just over here. There's a fresh pork there, uh, fresh pork there yeah, as well. Right. Man, I know what the tourists feel like in uh, Tenerife now with all the lucky luggies. I've um, I'd walk this whole road and getting tattooed off every person down here. I'd be fully <laughs> covered by now, like. <laughs> This is the end of Corsan Road, it's all the tuk tuk guys and that.
Roman bus there. Just took a walk down the back of Corsan Road to see what's happening. I think this is where all like the locals eat and that. That's Kosan Road during the daytime. We're going to go home, have a little kip, and then uh, we'll come back out at night time, see what it's like. So you seen right where there was like earlier on, quite calm, nice, laid in. Bangkok's a third world country, yeah? Right, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> The other end of Koh San Road now, uh, pretty wild. I think two days here is long enough, don't you? Oh my god, We're gonna hit Pattaya tomorrow, so follow us on our next adventures, the Rail Island Life. Peace out.